What's up, it's Boomatic back at it with another banger with the Bronco in the back. Uh, I went to the dealer, I got it back and got the window issue resolved. So I'll show you the paper, what they said, and I'll show you the windows working as they should. Um, but basically it looks like they had to do a reset of the passenger and driver side module. I'm not sure how they reset it, if it was with a tool or a method, um, but hey, um, as long as it's fixed. Uh, so that took about a day. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to Spermatic Cars. I'll have more Bronco content coming, car content on um, my Nissan GTRs. I got some content coming on that, the Cummins. So um, a few a few vehicles. Uh, I'm just a average Joe um, that's in the, in the cars, uh, uh, gearhead. So uh, please join the channel if you're new. Um, and smash that like button and it helps uh, with the channel and the algorithm free for you but means the world to the channel so thank you again that's basically what it seemed like they did they just reset the uh, the module and that helps so I, um, I tried to do uh, that reset where you hold down the driver's window for five seconds and then you uh, you bring it up and hold it for five seconds that didn't work i tried you know different variations of that and it it, it didn't work um for me uh so it looks like i'm not sure how they did the reset um i tried to call get more info but no nobody was in so um waiting on a call back and um how i'll give you guys an update as soon as i get that call if i if i do um so yeah, so um, let me know if anybody else has this same issue with their Bronco. I wonder if it's a common issue. Mine's is a 2022 um, Bronco with the hard top. It's a four door with the hard top. And I, I just got it this spring, um, the end of May. Um, so it could be some common issue where they have to reset these modules. Hopefully I don't have to do this often. Um, hopefully this is a the last time <laughs> but okay um i'll go show you the windows hey guys here with the bronco um updating you on the window issue so i'm gonna open the door and now it only goes down a little bit to open you know the door and then uh close it goes back up where it's supposed to let's try this rear one open goes down a little bit and closes where it's supposed to so that, that's pretty good that's fixed uh, let's check the driver side so here's the driver side now this was giving me issues when I went there so it's slightly ajar I'm just gonna close it and it goes up where it's supposed to. Okay, so I think I think we're good here now. And I was having an issue um, rolling down the window, um, the driver's window when I got there. So I hit the button. I'm gonna hit the button. So that's going now. And back up. Hit the rear. Rear back up. So the windows seem to be working now. Um, it took about uh, a day for them to figure out the issue uh, going back and forth with forward. They gave me a loaner car, a little uh, a Jeep Renegade. I was kind of ticked about that. Barely could fit the car seat in the back. Um, and you know, how are you going to go from a Ford Bronco to a Jeep, you know? So I was a little bit mad about that, but at least they gave me a loaner eventually. It took some time, but they gave me a loaner. Um, and by the end of the day, I'll say they were, they were calling me back and I ended up getting the truck back the, the following day cause it was already too late. Um, yeah. So if anybody has that same issue, um, I'll leave a comment, um, uh, let me know your experience uh, on it because this is a 2022 with the hard top 
um, and it's a four door. It's a, it's a base with the Sasquatch package with the 2.7, the bigger motor. Um, so uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a, a common issue or the one time thing. Um, but like I said, the uh, reset didn't work for me by holding down, holding down this all the way at the bottom. When it's at the bottom, hold it down five seconds. Then you bring it all the way back up and you hold it another five seconds and it's supposed to reset your windows and um yeah that that didn't work for me i tried several times i was hoping it worked for me because you know who wants to go back to the dealership and go through service especially when you bought a new car and the car only had 29 miles on it and it, and it gave me that issue so um yeah uh please remember to like comment subscribe spumatic cars and hit that notification bell uh i'll give you updates on my bronco experience um and um i plan to uh i haven't taken off the top yet i want to uh take off the top maybe uh maybe at least this uh first section i'm not sure about the second section because i'm i plan to do some driving tomorrow with the kids the boys so um I don't want them getting too much uh, sun or, or whatever. Um, well, uh, thank you for watching. I finally, um, I'm finally taking a look at my uh, toolbox. Thought I'd just put that in here too. Um, it's pretty cool. It comes with a little socket wrench set and um, some sockets. Um, oops. Pretty awesome to take off these doors. You these are the guides, I think when you're um, the alignment guides, when you're putting on a door. So that's pretty cool. Um, doors off, may, maybe, maybe soon. All right, check in with you guys uh, next time. This is, this is what they gave me for a, uh, a loner. Not no track hawk. Some trail hawk. A renegade or something.